welcome to C6 Laboratory Room Muna yung laboratory room nga doon ninyo Pag face to face <laughs> Hi Sir Kels Hi uh, Sir Kelly <laughs> So ang next step na to Himon Kay magkuha na ta sa mga materials Natay uh, laboratory staff Dari rin sa ilang staff room With Sir Lloyd Hi Sir Lloyd So yung mamiting na sa sunod Nyag face to face na ninyo So muna na mga materials Dalaw na nato sa ito ang uh, Laboratory Laboratory room <laughs> Tara, remember the three W's wear, wash, and what? So, muna yung lab room. Ready na for face-to-face -face class? Ready na siguro na sila for face-to-face -face class. Kaya na naman yung mga ingani, oh. Ayan. Okay, bye-bye. See you later sa ito ang experiment. Ang gagamitan natin ngayon na electric stove. Ayan, so... Basta, 
Ate Kristo. Kaysa po kung mag-anong kayo ng kakal-kakal ay kasi mo po na kayo na mag-uling-uling sa dyan. And then, ano ba yung next sa kanya material circles? Na thermometer. Now, this one. Hindi yan pwede sa nama sa body temperature. Baka i-measure natin yan sa mercury o sa measure ni So, yung usual na ginagamit natin ng thermometer sa bahay is maliit yung maliit. So, sa laboratory, medyo mahaba lang siya. And we also have the beaker. So, a 100 ml beaker. So, I think we're familiar already about this. And of course, the meter stick. Okay? Uh, we have, uh, meron purpose yung meter stick later, no? Bakit nandito siya? And then, we have also the rubber shoe. So, ito yung opportunity natin. Uh, the purpose is uh, just to connect from our apparatus to the steam boiler. Parang ganito yung style. Connect it. Okay. Okay. Yes. And lastly, we have the hot hands. Para sa ating sir, Kenny, pa ang sandbox sa ito na yung mga nag-busted. <laughs> So, ito lang yung mga materials natin na gagawin na natin for our experiment. And for the procedures, una, first step, we are going to measure the initial length of the sample metal rod using meter stick. So, meron tayong metal rod dito and we are going to measure the length. And of course, this is a meter stick, so the... Of course, back to back, the other part is the other side is inches, the other side is centimeters. But must go in if we are going to use centimeters. Para mas madali siya kapag measure. Pero hindi naman siya magmatter ha. It's up to you naman yan if you are going to conduct this experiment live. For example, ngayon talaga face to face. It depends actually on your choice. Pwede na centimeters, pwede din na inches. Depende yan kasi sa gusto niyo. Kaya sa atin. We are going to measure. Ang gagamitin natin itong uh, rod na ito. Okay, so it's 50.00 centimeters. 50.00 centimeters. It's measured. It's sulat sa sulat sa surveillance para pag-sulat na ito. No! God, please, no! No! Wala ang bola pen. So wait, ako mas ang pangin na. Yes, good morning, Mr. Sir. Okay, welcome back to our line. So ano yung initial rate? The initial, I mean, the measure of our rod is 50 centimeters. 50.00. So it's 50 points. So this is the initial length of our rod. LO is 50.00 centimeters. So okay, so we already have the initial length of our rod, which is 50.00 centimeters. The next will be, uh, we are going to insert. Insert the rod into the steam jacket. Let me know the steam jacket is ito. Again, then uh, we are going to place the steam jacket on the base of our apparatus. Since uh, ito yung apparatus natin, lagay na natin ito yung ating, um, ating uh, steam jacket. Of course, nasa loob na yung ating uh, initial, uh, yung left, yung metal rod na natin. On the middle of the uh, hole, the middle hole of our steam jacket, 
place that thermometer. What's the purpose? We are going to take the initial temperature of our rod before being heated. Okay? So the initial temperature of our rod. So ito, ito. Yeah, so th this is our setup, guys. Hi, Circle. <laughs> so this is the, ano, th this is the uh, coefficient of linear expansion apparatus. So dito sa end, ito na end na to, This is uh, stationary, so it is not allowed to move. Whereas yung allowed lang to expand is dito na side. Yan. Okay. Ito, this is the gauge. And then uh, take note kung ano yung. Uh, unit ng ating gauge. Yung gauge natin, yung unit, makita nyo naman sa uh, dyan, anong unit? Uh, that's millimeters. Okay, so, millimeters pala yung uh, unit ng ating gauge. Remember, ano yung unit natin kanina sa initial length circles? Uh, Naka-centimeters. Centimeters. So, that's why you need to convert, na. No? So, uh, alam nyo naman paano mag-convert from one uh, unit to another. So, if you notice, ayan, yung pointer natin is naka-zero. So, later on, mag-expand yan yung ating uh, metal. Get? Ayun. Like, so if you also notice, yung uh, calibration ng ating gauge is 0.01 millimeters. So later on, i-multiply natin yung reading natin by 0.01 uh, millimeters.
kayo magkakatari sa inyo ang pipangin. Class, doon ganyan yung kasi ako inip, class. Di, para sa inyong mga ulo, madalit ka ba inip? Oo ha? Nakatulat lang. At at least, mga test your patience. Oo. Hindi totoo yan. Bola lang yan. Kaya ako, class, kaya ako mag-ibot ang tao na aso pa sa inyo, class. I can wait. Wait! Di na! Sa maumaan pa na siya o ka ano lang ka boy, ah, mga steam boyer, makakulang niya ako. Ano na nalang blood circle? O ka na nandiyo ko magulang? Sorry, how many years na maging blood circle? Ah, mga 20 years na. Ano? 20 years na nalang eh. Nalang eh. Wala ko yan pag 4 years old. Oh my God! Wow! Madungga ninyo guys So as the metal rod is heated by the steam We are going to take the final temperature of the rod When we think of the temperature has become steady The temperature of our rod increases already And the expansion If you notice nag-move yung ating uh, gauge. Ano? So, from zero kanina, it starts to expand. So, ibig sabihin nun, our uh, rod uh, is already expanding. So, it, it still continues to expand. Later on, uh, i-measure natin. Nag-steady na siya. Hindi pa nag-steady dito. So, ang gagawin lang natin, uh, hintayin natin na maging steady yung temperature and then also maging steady yung uh, expansion ng ating Right. Um, boiling point. Hindi siya abot ng 100 degrees Celsius circle. Kasi nasa higher elevation tayo. You might wonder na When we are going to take the temperature of our boiling uh, boiling water, it will not reach 100 degrees Celsius because uh, we are uh, at a higher elevation. So kap kapag nasa sea level tayo, aabot yan ng uh, 100 degrees Celsius. And so if you notice dito, ito na yung uh, sabi ni na circle na nag, nag ano na yung ating, ating steam. Nag condense. So it condenses dito. Nagpa na? Steady na? Ay, 59.5 or 60? Hindi siya mabot ng 60. 60? Hindi pa siya mabot ng 60. Ah, 60 ito. 60 na siya. 60 na siya. Ah, nag-increase pa siya circles. 60.1. Ang temperature na increase lang mga 91 something. 91 point something. Okay, so again, we will just, we will just wait until the the gauge and the temp thermometer, the temperature of the thermometer uh, becomes steady. I think it's already steady in a circuit. A 91 gari. And dito... The temperature of our thermo... Uh, the temperature reading dito sa thermometer natin is 91.1 estimate, 91.1. So, paki ano circle. The final temperature Our final temperature is uh, 91.1 degrees Celsius, where our expansion, this is the amount of expansion, 
our uh, expansion apparatus will measure the amount of expansion of our metal rod. So this time, the expansion of our metal rod, remember we started kanina dito sa zero, and then ngayon 61.3 or 4? 3. Uh, 51.3? So that's the expansion, 61.3 millimeters. But remember, remember natin that the that the scale is 0 0.01. So multiply natin yan by 0 0.01. Remember the scale, ha? It's 0 0.01. So times 0 0.01. So our expansion, our linear expansion is a 0 0.61 millimeters. And so take note, we have a different units sa ating uh, LO and sa ating uh, expansion. Our LO is in millimeters and our expansion is in millimeters. So alam niyo naman paano convert so it's your job of it. <laughs> Hey, the convert man at ito para kung isa natin sa kanilang pang may soul. Ano yung convert natin? It, it depends on it's up to you kung i-convert mo sa millimeter to centimeters or centimeters to millimeters. As long as both variables uh, have the same uh, unit. Pwede natin ito yung stop? Yes, yes. Uh, go down na siya. So ano yung convert natin sa kanilang centimeter? Yung millimeter to centimeters or centimeters na lang. So from 50 centimeters, it will be equal to uh, 500. 500.0. So our rod carrier measures 50 centimeters and converts by converting to millimeters that's 500 millimeters. Because there are uh, 10 millimeters every one centimeter. Okay, so again, the objective is to calculate natin yung ating uh, uh, coefficient of linear expansion. Okay? So calculate natin the circle. So the formula is expansion or delta L is equal to LO, coefficient of linear expansion, uh, change in temperature. Tapos yung kailangan natin is yung uh, coefficient. So divide natin both sides by uh, LO, delta T. Divide both sides by LO, delta T. So cancel, 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 cancel. So our coefficient is, what is our LO circle? 500 millimeters. 500.0 millimeters. Divided by our initial. Ah, change in length. Oh, change in length. Ah, no? Change in length. Our, chain, our uh, expansion pala. So our expansion, amount of expansion circuit is 0 0.6. Uh, 1 millimeters. 6 1 millimeters. Divided by our uh, original length. Original length is 500. 500.0 millimeters times the change in temperature. The change in temperature is always final temperature minus initial uh, temperature. Our final temperature is 91.1 degrees Celsius minus our initial uh, temperature is 25.1 uh, degrees Celsius. Okay, calculator, so nothing to worry. So, yes, yes. <laughs> we have 0 0.613 divided by the 500 millimeters times the change of change. 91.1 minus 20. Celsius. So 
the coefficient of expansion of our metal rod is 1.86 times 10 to the power of negative 5 uh, per Celsius uh,